The debate between evolution and the story of creation has been ongoing for centuries. On one hand, we have the scientific theory of evolution, which explains how species have changed and adapted over time through natural selection. On the other hand, we have the religious belief that God created the universe and all life on Earth. The theory of evolution was first proposed by Charles Darwin in his 1859 book on the origin of species. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is based on the idea that over time, species that are better adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. This process, over millions of years, leads to the gradual evolution of new species. The story of creation, as told in the Bible, tells us that God created the universe and all life on earth in a period of six days. This story states that God created the heavens and the earth, the sun, moon, and stars, the sea and all the creatures in it, and finally, mankind. According to this belief, all living organisms were created by God in their present form, and have not evolved over time. Both evolution and the story of creation have their own set of evidence and arguments. The theory of evolution is supported by a vast amount of scientific evidence from various fields, including paleontology, biology, genetics, and geology. On the other hand, the story of creation is supported by religious texts and the belief in a higher power. In recent years, some religious groups have attempted to reconcile evolution and creationism by proposing the idea of intelligent design. This idea suggests that while evolution may be responsible for the development of species, it was guided by an intelligent designer. One of the most convincing arguments for evolution is the fact that the Earth is round. The evidence that the Earth is round is overwhelming, from the curved horizon when looking out to sea, to the way that ships disappear over the horizon, to the fact that the Earth casts a round shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse. This evidence has been observed and documented for centuries and it's hard to deny that the Earth is round. The idea of a flat Earth has been debunked by scientific research and evidence. In conclusion, the debate between evolution and the story of creation is ongoing and complex. Both sides have valid arguments and evidence to support their beliefs. While evolution can explain the development of species and the diversity of life on Earth, the story of creation offers a spiritual and religious explanation for the origins of the universe and life. Ultimately, the choice between the two is a matter of personal belief and faith. It's important to remember that science and religion are not mutually exclusive. They can coexist and complement each other. Science can help us understand the natural world and how things work, while religion can provide a moral compass and a sense of purpose and meaning. In addition to the evidence of the Earth's roundness, there are many other scientific facts that support the theory of evolution. For example, the fossil record shows a clear progression of species over time, with earlier fossils being more primitive and later fossils being more advanced. Studies of DNA and genetics also support the idea that all living organisms share a common ancestry. Another important aspect of evolution is the concept of natural selection. This is the process by which certain traits become more or less common in a population over time. Traits that are beneficial for survival and reproduction are more likely to be passed on to future generations, while traits that are detrimental are less likely to be passed on. This gradual process leads to the development of new species over time. In addition to the history of life on Earth, the history of atoms also plays a crucial role in understanding the origins of the universe. The ancient Greek philosopher Democritus first proposed the idea of atoms around 400 BCE. He believed that matter was made up of tiny, indestructible particles that he called atoms. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that scientists began to experimentally discover the properties of atoms, and it was not until the 20th century that scientists were able to see atoms using electron microscopes. Today, we understand that atoms are the building blocks of matter and that all elements are made up of unique combinations of atoms. This knowledge has allowed scientists to understand the origins of the universe and the formation of stars and galaxies. It also helps us understand how the elements that make up our planet were formed, and how they have changed over time. The history of atoms and the history of life on Earth is interconnected, and both are crucial for understanding the origins of the universe and the world we live in. In the end, we should respect each other's beliefs and perspectives, and strive to find common ground. We should also keep an open mind and be willing to learn from each other. 
It's important to remember that the beauty of this world is not only in the scientific explanation but also in the spiritual one.